Yo, what is going on guys? It is Get Scared here, bringing you guys some Advanced Warfare gameplay here today. We are playing some TDM on the map Comeback, and the enemies in this game were complete trash at uh, Advanced Warfare. Uh, I was actually playing with a friend who wasn't very good at the game, so um, his stats got us into this pretty noob lobby, and I almost went flawless, so enjoy that. But I thought it kind of fit well with the commentary topic because uh, Sledgehammer Games actually put out a patch like right after the Black Ops 3 trailer came out, basically. And uh, in that patch, uh, there's like patch notes that said um, there's connectivity improvements as well as like changes to matchmaking and stuff. And uh, I, th I think they may have actually removed skill-based matchmaking. I'm going to be honest, like I played a few games um, after and then a few games today and a few games yesterday and stuff. And uh, I was, I'm noticing like a lot more lobby variety. Now there's definitely not an end to tryhards. There's always going to be tryhards in Call of Duty. Uh, but it's it feels back to the way it was in previous games kind of thing I think they definitely toned down the skill based matchmaking a lot and uh, Yeah, like so getting a new lobby like this I should probably try this out with like one of my friends that has really bad stats or something to see if this actually works uh, But on my main account uh, my stats aren't the best But I just noticed a lot less tryhards like a, just a lot more lobby variety a lot more newer players that weren't very good at the game and uh, yeah, it, it got me pretty happy because uh, actually I, I searched this up, I googled it, and I couldn't find anyone else like saying this at all. I couldn't find anyone else speculating this. And obviously this is pretty much all speculation because uh, it's really something you can't really prove, I guess. Like um, with gun changes, you can always like do tests, like do the drifter style tests and like see what actually changed. But uh, it's, it's kind of hard, kind of impossible actually to do that with uh, the matchmaking algorithms, but they really do feel changed. Uh, I want you guys to let me know what you think in the comment section if you noticed anything like this, like any changes. Um, and it kind of does make sense if you think about it because Black Ops 3 just being announced, obviously Advanced Warfare, it's still like the most recent COD, but it's a little more obsolete now because everyone's like hyped for Black Ops 2 and stuff. So it kind of makes sense for them to like not really, I guess, try and cater to newer players as much if that makes sense, like um, since it's not like the COD that people care about. Uh, as much because everyone everyone cares about Black Ops 3 now because it's like gonna, gonna be the one coming out and everyone's really hyped about it so it kind of does make sense for them to just like kind of remove it because um, I know like other games kind of do that like other COD games like remove their skill based matchmaking after the next COD game came out and Black Ops 2 uh, just did it like when everyone complained but I guess it, it kind of does make sense if you think about it I don't know I probably just did a really shitty job of explaining that but uh, <laughs> yeah guys um so it got me really hyped, and uh, yeah, I've every game I've played so far, like I, I did get into one game where I played against a full clan, but I mean, that always happened in previous games, so I mean, it's I just noticed a lot more variety. So let me know what you guys noticed, and uh, if this is true, that's honestly great news, because skill-based matchmaking was probably the number one thing that I hated about this game. And, uh, like, just the, the always, like, playing against the same skill level, just the, the monotony of it, it was just awful. Um, so yeah, I mean, for all I know, <laughs> it could just be like a placebo effect or whatever. Uh, but I don't know, it, it feels, it feels pretty good. So, uh, yeah guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to smack that like button. And I will be talking about Black Ops 3 in a future video for sure. I'm going to definitely be making a few videos with opinions there, um, and stuff. So yeah guys, see you in the next one. Have a good day. Peace.